Hi, my name is Camila Moore, the student voice for the 2012 presidential election. The biggest teacher strike in America in a generation is currently happening in Chicago, Illinois. 29,000 teachers from Chicago's Teachers Union are picketing while 350,000 American kids are shut out of school. As the largest teacher union strike in two decades, the mayor of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel, and parents in Chicago are against the dispute. Parents of kindergarten, elementary, and high school students were forced to find alternative child care, kept their children at home, or took them to nearly 150 centers around Chicago set up by the city to provide breakfast, lunch, and supervision. Overall, Chicago teachers are fighting for better pay and benefits, but the main issue they are fighting for is to eliminate teachers' evaluations that test the teachers' effectiveness with how well students do on standardized tests. The union argues that it would put teachers at a disadvantage and possibly cost them their jobs. Also, 80% of Chicago public school students qualify for free school lunches because they come from low-income families. But the union argues the policy forces the teachers to teach to the test and narrows the curriculum. Chicago teachers also said they should not be evaluated on factors outside of their control like poverty and crime, such as what their students are facing in some of their neighborhoods. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel and President Obama's former chief of staff pressed to have the strike declared illegal. At a press conference, Emanuel stated, this is a strike of choice. It is the wrong choice for our children and it is not necessary. The Secretary of Education, Arne Duncan, who was charged with implementing Race to the Top and the new teacher assessments, formally headed Chicago's public school system. Further complicating the issue of education reform in Chicago are these very relevant statistics. Chicago teachers average around $71,000 per year. The Department of Education found that about 80% of Chicago 8th graders are not proficient in reading or in math. What do you think about what's happening in Chicago? Is this something that needs to be turned into a national conversation about education policy and education reform? Please share your thoughts.